then, before then, before then, before then, before then, da 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 we got this. What's up, sons? It's Blindrod with Son of a Tech once again, and we have yet another how-to video. Today, we're going to talk about how to mine Cortex cryptocurrency and where you can exchange it, that sort of thing. But before we do, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is BlockFi. BlockFi provides financial products for crypto investors. Products include high-yield interest accounts, USD loans, and no-fee trading. With BlockFi, there are no hidden fees, just a return of up to 8.6% APY that starts accruing immediately, plus compounding interest every month. Committed to trust and transparency, BlockFi services comply with comprehensive state and federal regulations, and they use Winklevoss's Gemini as their primary custodian, wrapping layers of industry-leading protection around clients' assets. To facilitate this transparency, BlockFi allows me to mention that they are centralized and there is a potential for loss. So as with any investment, do your own research. Personally, I have funded over 4,000 USD equivalent in Bitcoin to my BlockFi account and accrued additional interest on top of my mining rewards. For a limited time, you can earn crypto bonus of up to $250 when you open a new account by visiting the link in the description, blockfi.com slash son of a tech. Welcome back. So first things first, if you guys are looking for an exchange, Binance.com will be where you want to head to. And I have a friend, a buddy here from Sweden that's helping us out to show you guys how to do that exactly. If you want to log into your Binance.com account and you are, you know, able to actually do that, you'll head over to your wallet and click the overview. And then you will be presented with an option to deposit. So you're going to click the deposit button. You're going to want to deposit crypto. Then in the drop down, you're going to search for CTXC, which is Cortex. And then over here, you're going to copy this wallet address. Now, this wallet address will be what you put into the miner if you want to directly mine to, of course, Binance. We did some tests and we have found that you can mine directly to the wallet pretty easily with the method that we're gonna show you. Now, of course, you may want to actually use their official wallet, which is a possibility. So let's get into that. In the case that you want to mine directly to their wallet, you're gonna head on over to the official website and their official wallet tab. I will leave a link to this down in the description. Make sure that you use the link down there and get the files directly from their website because obviously we have issues with rotten seeds and MetaMask that could definitely be a potential with Cortex as well. So all you have to do now at this point is click the download for Chrome button and click save. We're gonna save it to our downloads file folder. We're gonna click the up arrow and say show in folder. And then we are going to right click and say seven zip and extract here. This will unpack the files and now we're done in file explorer. So now we're gonna head back to our browser you're going to basically go to Chrome slash slash extensions. And this is an, an example for Brave browser, but it does work the same in other Chromium browsers. You're going to click the developer mode and click load unpacked. And you're going to find where you extracted the Cortex wallet and say select folder. And at this point, it will redirect you to the website and install the plugin. So you can then hit the extensions button and pin that plugin. And at this point, we can start working on setting up the wallet. So we're gonna hit the little wallet button. We're gonna click continue. You'll create a simple password. And if you guys don't get that yet, I always say create a simple password. I mean, create a complex password, preferably randomly generated. And we're gonna click create. Next, read the terms of use. Accept, 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 accept. Reveal seed. Copy that, put it into a new notepad. Sometimes I like to add the wallet address as well. And then we're just gonna save it to the desktop. Do not do this. Please save it to an encrypted USB key or to NordLocker if you are feeling extra frisky. NordLocker is an encrypted cloud solution, so that is something that you can save it to. Or alternatively, write it down on a piece of paper for the safest method and put that paper in a fireproof safe. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and say save. We're just gonna go ahead and save it to our desktop real quick, just so we have the wallet seed. And then at this point, we are going to verify that real quick. Click next. 
And then it'll do this. This pretty much is exactly the same as MetaMask. We're going to need to enter the words in here that we copied down earlier. And confirm. And at this point, we have our wallet address. So now that we have our wallet address, we can move on. Let's go ahead and just, you can click here to copy it. I'm going to paste it in this notepad right here just so that we have it. And then we are going to get to mining. So to mine this, we are going to need a miner and a mining pool. I have been currently using Hero Miners primarily because they have a really nice calculator and they seem to only have the calculator or Cortex. Nobody else has this calculator yet. So what you'll start noticing is that it becomes super profitable. It, the calculator is also super conservative, so keep that in mind as well. You'll be shocked at how much uh, you can actually pull out of it. So at this point, we are going to download LOL Miner, and we want the latest version. So we're just going to grab this version 1.21. I do see like it says 1.24a. Kind of curious. I think it just downloads it into here. Anyways, this one's the one that's been working. So we're going to click save. Now, in some cases, if you have antivirus on, you will need to add exceptions for the LOL miner folder. The easiest way to do this is to pause the protection. And I can't give you a guide on all of them because it all depends on which one, whichever AV you have. Pause the protection, extract the folder, and then target the folder as an exclusion in your antivirus. I want to be super clear here that doing this on Windows 10 should be done on a system with no personal or financial information on it. The reason being is because since most miners are flagged as viruses, if there was a virus in there and you add an exclusion, you get yourself in trouble. Another point here is that you want to make sure and confirm that you are downloading it from the official source. You can check the links down in my description for the official source, or of course, check the Bitcoin talk and direct from GitHub is going to be your best bet. With clarifications over, let's go ahead and right click and do 7-zip and extract here. We are going to open the folder and they currently already have a batch file ready for you to go for Cortex. So all you're going to have to do at this point is right click and say edit. Now this one is defaulted to go to two miners. If you're in the UK, I think that would be fine for you to go ahead and do, but my ping is over 200 milliseconds to two miners, big sad unfortunately. So I actually am mining on hero miners. And then the next thing that you're going to want to change is the wallet. Now, why are we using LOL miner? Well, LOL miner supports all of the latest 3000 GPUs as well as the 6000 GPUs and G miner does not. We are not getting support for even 5000 series AMD GPUs on there. So really you can use G miner, LOL miner. I'm getting the same hash rates or grass per second as well. So I haven't noticed anything too severe about losing too much hash there. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and go back to the wallet file that we made. We're going to copy the wallet address and we're going to paste that wallet address in here, making sure you keep the period between that and your worker name, which you can name whatever you want. We'll just do so X. And then let's go ahead and grab the information from the pool. So here is the pool. Usually you can go to the pool and they will give you a list of servers right here, as you can see. Now, right here, we have our North America, Canada server. So we're just going to go ahead and highlight that and do a control C. And then we're going to go back to the batch file and we're going to go ahead and replace the pool with that address. CA.cortex.herominers.com and then the colon with the port number. It is very important to make sure that it always matches exactly what the pool is saying that it needs to be, and that the syntax is correct with the spacing between the commands, as well as, of course, any of your quotations, because this is how the computer reads it. If you're not talking in the computer's language, it's not going to understand you. At this point, we're gonna click File and Save. And then we are going to run the miner. So we're going to double click it and then the miner will start running. 
This current system has two 6000 series GPUs from AMD, the 6900 XT and the 6800. With the 6900 XT coming in once tuned in to about four graphs a second, and the 6800 coming in at about three to 3.4 graphs a second, it ends up becoming super profitable. So as you can tell, it has started mining. You can tap H sometimes to push it along. It'll eventually tell us what our hash rate is. As you can see here, we're at 3.3 graphs a second on one and 3.63 graphs a second on the other, giving us about 6.97 graphs a second. So if we head back over to Hero Miners and go into our calculator and we did 6.9, you can see here that daily we would be getting about 47 CTXC. And then of course you have your profit in USD conversion, which would be $10. Now in my experience, it's been doing a lot more than that. So um, definitely take a look. We did about 24 hours and we pulled about 52 Cortex. So we are a little above that. Now Cortex pricing today is at 22 cents. It's high was around 24 cents today, I think so far. And it has been basically on a slow rise, which is kind of nice to see. And we'll have to see where the project goes. Like I said, we'll be doing a review of it later on. Now, if you need to check your information, you can always just grab your wallet address once again, go back to Hero Miners and paste it in for your stats and history and click the look up button. And if you had anything running, it will tell you essentially what, there it is, there we go. So current hash rate, it's just now kind of spinning up. You guys always need to give this some time because it will take some time. And then it'll give you your estimated earnings and the workers that are online. So you can see here, maybe if you want to log in remotely and see if they're actually still mining, you can take a look right here. And that's pretty much about it for mining from Windows. Let's talk about Hive OS. Alrighty, so with HiveOS, you can click into your farm and add a flight sheet here, or you can add a global flight sheet. I clearly need to go ahead and do some review on my rigs today, which I'll do later. We're going to go ahead and click flight sheets. You're going to select the coin for Cortex. You'll click add wallet, add your wallet address that we generated earlier into here, create a friendly name, and then you can save it as a global wallet if you like and fetch balance per their beta if you like as well. Then we're gonna say create and it will select the wallet and we'll select the pool that we want to mine to. In this case, like we said earlier, we're gonna do hero miners in Canada, apply. And then for our miners, we're gonna go ahead and select LOL miner. And then you can create a friendly name like Cortex LOL hero. And then click create flight sheet. Once you've done this, you'll go back to your workers. You will highlight the workers you want to be mining Cortex. Go up to the top and select flight sheet. And then you will go ahead and find the one you just created, Cortex LOL Hero, and select it and then click apply. So it's pretty simple. No matter how you want to cut that cookie with Hive OS or with, you know, mining from Windows 10, or of course, if you want to deposit direct to Binance.com or you would like to directly deposit to their official wallet, that should cover all the options. If we need to cover other operating systems, please let me know which ones you need me to cover down in the comment section below and I'll try to get to it. Obviously, we have a lot of content coming out and there's a lot more coming because the list is just So thanks everybody for all the video ideas, trying to get to them. We'll try to get this done as quickly as possible. I am mining Cortex on two different rigs right now, and I've been pretty happy with it. So let me know what you guys think, and definitely check out the technical review of the coin itself tomorrow. I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here, or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.